Hello, everybody. Um, thank you so much for joining me again. So this session is going to be focusing on Google Sites. So this is a chance for you to create a free website, uh, either for your classroom or to allow your students to create a Google Site. Um, one of the great um, uses for students to be able to use Google Sites is for student e-portfolios. So they can document their learning along the way. I had my eighth grade math students get into groups. I actually assigned the groups and they work together on websites to document their learning throughout the year. Every unit um, of our curriculum had its own page. And so they went out and researched um, things of interest for them that apply to that unit and that concept. And they added those resources to their website as a group. Um, they had a home page, they had an about us page where they got a chance to either put little pictures or icons or bitmojis and they could describe a little bit about what their likes and their hobbies were. I kept their last names off so um, and didn't really put their their faces on the websites just to keep it um, a little little safer. Um, um, but I told them the task was basically create a website that teaches anybody joining your website about eighth grade math so they would be able to learn the curriculum from their website. So I expected excellence, but I wanted some creativity and that was it. And then I let them go. Um, I didn't teach them how to use Google Sites. I pointed them to where you would create it. They created it themselves and they shared with their peers um, so they could have the whole group collaborating on the website. And it was, it was a great learning experience. They would start to ask me a question about Google Sites itself, and but before they would end their question, they'd say, oh, never mind, I figured it out. I wanted that. I wanted that skill, that critical skill, to be able to figure something out without me spoon feeding them and telling them step by step. What a valuable skill for our students to learn how to figure something out on their own and problem solve and help each other. Some of them were helping each other with it, which, which I loved. So they were creating a product with this website, as well as researching um, concept resources out on the internet. Um, they were picking songs, they were picking graphics, they were picking tutorial videos to add to their website. So they were learning the curriculum along with the creation of the websites themselves. But I also used a Google site for my own personal classroom for my teacher website as well. And so um, this is where you can start or you can um, go ahead and allow the students in your classroom to create their own Google Sites or with a group and document learning or for any kind of project. All right, so what I would like for you to do is say you that you're either in your mail and you want to go to the grid up here and you can go to find sites, um, which would be right there or you are in your Google Drive and same thing, you go to the grid and you can find sites. Now it, it may not be on your home page here, so you would click more and find it in the more, or you can go to sites.google.com and it will get you there. Now, once you get to sites.google.com, and I wanna show you that real quick. Um, once you come to this page, it kind of takes you to this default page, and I'm really not sure why they're still coming up on this page um, for their default, because this goes to the classic, but we're not going to deal with classic. It is so important. It's the most important thing that you understand and the students understand that we are going to go to new Google Sites, which is over here on the left, on the lower left, and we're going to click on new Google Sites. Now you'll see um, I've created a few websites already and while I'm I've been here in this district and um, my technology badging program was created with a Google site and we'll be looking at that and um, but I want to show you how to create your own from scratch so we are here in the the default Google sites and it lists it lists all the ones that I've created so far and you may have none so what we're gonna do in the lower right in the big red plus button we're going to click on that and you're going to it is going to launch you into creating your google site it's going to be that easy already here is your site we just need a title and we need some content so it makes it super easy um, but it is already created so let's name your site so go ahead and put your site um, 
you put your maybe put your class name up there. Um, so Ms. Whitaker's um, class. I don't, know. I don't know what I'm teaching today. So um, so there's the class. And since I messed up on that, it's going to I'm just going to redo that there. Here's my page title. So this is your home page. That's the first page you land on is your home page. So this is where you'll have a graphic or you have a nice big title. Um, welcome to Whitaker's World. Um, and I can, it's in title format. This is just a text box. I can stretch it out if I want to. Um, and you'll notice with these text boxes as I'm working, you'll see some little grid lines in the back to help kind of guide me. Um, and we'll see that more as we put more text into it. I'm able to change the text. Um, I can do title, heading, subheading, kind of like the title. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, and then we are going to just kind of, let's just talk about how the whole site looks. Now, the um, background, it looks sleek and professional, but it's really not my style. So the first thing I want to do is look at themes. So I'm going to click over here on the right, and you're going to notice these three tabs here. Those are the main tabs that you're working with. Um, it's so easy. Now, I will tell you this. I, I've worked with classic Google Sites before uh, for many, many years. And you have a lot more options. But I have a web design background, so I'm, I was familiar with HTML and coding and um, publishing and, and editing. And so I was able to figure it out pretty easily. Um, but the new websites, I'd say the, the only down, downside to the new websites is the limited, you have limited options on some of your things. But you can create a very simple, sleek, professional looking website just fine with Google Sites. Um, you can use Google Classic Sites if you do want more say in, in some of the formatting options. Um, but I would say starting out, if you don't have previous experience, I think the new Google Sites is perfectly fine. So we're gonna go over to themes and you can choose from any of these themes that they um, have available to you here. Um, let's see, kinda like that kind of like um, fixer upper. So we've got some, some wood up there, some boards, and then you can choose kind of what you want for that background color. Um, let's go with green so we can go with a little bit more natural, um, neutral tones, but you can choose um, different colors here um, as well. Now you can change your font style. Um, you have three different styles to choose from. Um, I think classic, I don't know. Let's look at all of them, see. Not really fond of that one. I'm gonna stick with bold. All right, so you can also choose any of these others. Um, so kind of get a feel for it, for what you're wanting. I think it starts out at simple. I'm going to stick with that. And so you do have some, like I said, it's limited, but it gets you to where you need to be. All right, so that's in the themes. And then insert is where all the magic happens. Um, I will say at this point, um, say your students are doing this, so they've created their website, then I would say right up here where you normally um, have the little share icon, that this is where they're going to share quickly with their, with, with their group. Uh, with the other collaborators. So they would just start typing in the names and find them. They should be already populated in the system um, under our domain. And so, and make sure that they can edit um, so they're able to collaborate on here. <clears throat> All right, um, I, as always, we have the preview eye up here. This is gonna allow you to see your website and how it looks to anybody visiting your website online and not just the the editing version here. Now you also see that it's saving here as well. It does take a little bit longer in Google Sites to save, excuse me, um, unlike Google Docs where it, it's very fast, like immediate. 
it does take a little bit longer to um, see your changes and your additions saved in Google Sites. So here's our title. Normally on a title page, you have an introductory paragraph that describes what the website is about. Um, being um, associated with jobs before that did web design. I did web design in my past. I'm all for very ease, uh, an easy way to maneuver the site. So navigation should be easy. It shouldn't be cluttered. It should be clean. Um, not, not a whole bunch going on. You don't want it too flashy. You just want it, um, as few clicks to get to the information as possible. Um, so we're going to be looking at clean and simple and straight to the point. Now, um, I want to look at next the layouts. Um, you have these layout versions here um, and it depends on, I'll show you real quick. I'll go over to um, my technology badging website. So when I go to uh, the badging pages, um, I think I chose like this, this layout right here because I've got four badges. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. Um, four badges uh, per line. So this is the layout that I used for that. But you have, let me go back to the one we're working on right now. You have this option. So I'll show you what that looks like. So that has an image option on the left with some text on the right. Um, and then we can look at this one. This has got two images above and then we have text below it. Another option is two image, smaller images on the left with a larger image on the right. So you choose which layout makes more sense for your particular page. Um, you can also not do any of these layouts. You can just put a text box if you just want text, but images are nice. You just don't want it to be too cluttered. So um, from here, you would just click on that plus symbol. You would select an image um, from Google Drive. From You can upload it from your computer. Here's Google Drive. You can put a YouTube video in, calendar, and a map. So let me just, I'll go to my Google Drive in my drive, and it will bring up all the pictures that I have um, in here. and it will bring that in. Now, I can uncrop it because it's, it's cropping in a certain way. Um, I can crop it, hit enter, or I can uncrop it. So when I uncrop it, it's gonna give me the whole image or it's going to crop it um, however, I, whoa, however I want it. Um, so I will, I'll go back, let me undo that. And so that would be the default. That is the cropped version. But I can click it and I can say uncrop and it will give me the entire image. Because sometimes you are limited on your space and so it's going to crop it um, to fit the space or you can just say uncrop it and give me the whole image that I wanted. And then you just click in the text box and you just start typing um, this website. Um, will demonstrate um, how awesome our pages are. And, WPFC. Um, and then you have another smaller text box that gives you normal text. So this one was in title text. This one is in normal text, but it, it can always be changed. They even have different colors assigned to those that you can change with the um, theme. Um, so it's totally, totally up to you. Oops. This one in back to title. Okay, and then um, you can use whatever, if you want another line, we go back to um, insert and we go back to those different layout options and you can just like um, Google Forms when you're putting in questions, you get these little boxes that give you just um, layers to your page. If I want to get rid of this completely, I just go over here to the delete and it will delete that section. So that's all I have on my page so far.
So I say, okay, here's my, my main thing. Okay, what do I want underneath? Um, I want four pictures. So I do, I choose that and just puts it up there and it's just so fast. I can upload, I can select an image searching. I can go to my drive, put in some videos. Um, and then it gives me that little text box underneath that I can insert text. So it makes it super easy. So that's in your insert. Now we don't, like I said, we don't have to have these layouts over here. Um, you can just say, I want to insert a text box. And so it's going to insert a text box and notice it's its own little box. Um, so I'm able to move that around with that little handle right there with a, a bunch of dots there. I'm able to, to move it around however I want to, if I want to move it above. Now I will show you something. Um, this line right there, kind of like, I want to move that up between the um, header and the that first box. So I moved it up here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a background and I'm going to put in maybe an image or maybe I'm going to do a I don't know. Let's do now. I want to maybe want a color like that, or I want to do an image. So let's select an image that they already have, like here in their gallery, or I can go to my Google Drive. But <coughs> excuse me. I think I have a wood theme. Mm, I don't know. Let's do ocean just because I like ocean. It may not look good, but hey, there you go. So, and then I want you to notice what happened right here. Um, and I'm going to actually show you here. So I'm going to change the image and I'm just going to show you. Now notice my title here is in white. I'm going to select an image. Let's do that beach theme. And then it says adjusting for readability and it's like magic. So it's adjusting and it made the, um, the image light and it changed my words to black and that made it readability. Now I could turn it off and it would make it, um, it lightened the picture, but when I turn that off, the picture goes dark. I can reset back to the way it was. So this one, the way it was, it doesn't need that special, but this one did. So I can turn that off and it's gonna go back to the original picture. But when I turn it back on, it lightens it up because it's a background to words. And so when you're typing in words, you want that readability. And so if I was to turn that off, then that dark blue part, if I have any typing in there, it might be hard to see. So Google knows that. And so they know when they want to adjust it, they will lighten that background so you're able to read the words. And that's so important when you're looking at websites. You want it to be easy to read. Um, so I kind of like that little magic that you have there. Um, I don't like that background. So I tell you what, I'm going to um, just make a, a dark line right there. Um, and we'll, we can come back to it and see. Oops, I just automatically just hit that by accident and just drag that over. So super easy to add a section, but I don't want it. So I'm going to delete it. So see how easy it is to build this page. And notice that when I put that dark color, it changed my words to white. So it's very user friendly. It knows um, how to make it readable. Um, so that's how you would add text box or different layouts and work with that. <clears throat> you can add images. So if I um, select an image in my Google Drive, again, it will give me all of my images. I love my elephant. And it's going to put it there. Now, I didn't want it there. I want it at the bottom. So I'm going to grab that handle on the left and I'm going to move it below. It's got a register that it's below because it show you that line where it's going to drop it. So it's going to drop below it. Um, I can embed. Now we can um, put like if you want to put in a Google form or any kind of, <coughs> any kind of video, um, you are able to put some HTML code to embed something onto the website. And then you can also insert from Google Drive 
onto your website. Um, let's see, you have um, an insert button. You can call it, let's, um, let's see what happens here. Oh, you want to link that. Uh, let's, let's call that WPISD home. And then we'll insert that. Let's see what happens there. There you have a button. I'm sure you can change that color. Um, edit the button. Oh, that just changes that. You may be able to change the color. Oh, that's the background of the actual thing. Oh, it just changed the button. So you're able to, to play around with that. You can put in a divider line. It's going to drop it right underneath where you were. Um, I don't like that background, so I'm going to go regular, and then there's that divider line. Now I can move that divider line up there, and I can add another. So I'm right here, so when I add a divider line, it's going to go right below it. I can add a YouTube video. I can add a calendar. I can add a map. I can add Google Docs or a slides or sheets or forms or charts right there into my website so all of this is in the insert button or the insert tab and you have all these options layouts and any of these so if i go down here i say i want to add a youtube video oh goodness um let's see morning it's going to give me some options to choose from I select that it's going to embed that video right in there so real easy to add resources to a web page good stuff all right and then let's look at the next tab up here on the right and that's your pages so right now I just have a home page but I want to add a page and that's down here at the bottom we add um, just the plus button. Now there are two options is either adding a new page or I can add a new link. I'm going to go over to my technology batch real quick. Um, and I'll go to, to pages. These are my pages. I have a home page and I have level one, two, and three badges. And then what I did for a couple of these, as you see on my menu up here, and you'll see every time you add a page, it adds to the menu up at the top. And we can talk about that as well. Um, <clears throat> how you have your navigation. But these two on the end it are just links to other websites. So that's going to go to the badge request form and that's going to go to the district website. So you can add, going back to this one, you can add a new link which takes you just to another website or you can add a new page. And you could say this is a, about us. Um, custom path, nah, don't need that. So done. And then it creates this website and you're on the about us and notice that it started navigation up here at the top because now you have more than one page and I can go back to home if I want to. And so this is just adding different. Um, yeah, I'll go back to my home. So you can go back to the different uh, pages throughout. <coughs> Excuse me your navigation here. So I'm on the About Us page. I can do whatever I want to here. Um, header type, banner, large banner, cover, title only. Uh, so you can change all of that. You can change your backgrounds. <coughs> and then you go back to insert and you start putting whatever you want to in here. So hopefully that's pretty easy to add pages. And again, if I just want to add a new link, and I just will say WPISD home, and then put that link in there, which is www.wpisd.com, open a new tab, always do that so they can find their way back to your website. Now, I don't like it being there. I want it after that. So I'm going to just move this up. And so it switches places. So you're able to switch the order and it switched it around automatically in your menu up here. So easy to do.
I'm going to add another page for um, classroom resources. And then I'm going to put a bunch of links on the classroom resources. Now I put it right there. I don't want it there. I kind of want it on the other side of About Us. So I'm just going to move it down to About Us, below About Us. So now I have the order that I want to. So really, I just grab it and I just drag it around when I'm in the page, the Pages tab. So very, very easy to do. Um, I will tell you that um, when my students were doing it, let's, see, let's go back to the home page. Um, they had on their home page, they had a brief introduction to the site. And then they had a table of contents in the front. So, um, so they had their table of contents down here and they'd have unit one, blank, 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 unit two, blank, blank, blank. So if let's do that, let's do, let's insert a text box and I'll say unit one or no, you know what? I'll say about me. I can say unit one or whatever, whatever pages I have that I've created. And like I said, they had a page for every unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to create the insert a link and then I'm going to choose the site pages. Now I can put in a website if I want to, or I can choose, it's going to bring up the pages that I've created. And so if I apply that, so on the home page, when I click on that, it will take you to the about me page. So they had their table of contents there. And so unit ones through 11, and then you would click on unit one, it would take you to the unit one page. So very, very cool. And plus you have the navigation up here up at the top. <clears throat> let's take a look at our navigation. You have top navigation or you have side navigation. So let's look at what side navigation looks like. So that is going to be this drop down right here, which is kind of nice. I kind of like having it on the top just because I like the least amount of clicks to get to your information. But um, this looks really clean as well. So it's up to you whether you want that side navigation over here or we just go back to top navigation and it will show over here. Now it will keep pushing it out um, as you add pages to it until there's no more room. And then it will show you like you did here, it will put more. And then when you click on the more, then it will bring up those other pages and, and be as long as you need to. So we've talked about inserting, um, sorry about that inserting in all of our different options here we have pages that's where we add different pages and we can call them whatever we want to and then we've already talked about the possible themes and then we can preview our website and see what it looks like <clears throat> this is what it would look like to anybody that's visiting your website so notice that i created this website in just a few minutes um, and boom it's done it's so easy to do the students won't have any trouble um, creating websites if you want them to do this as a project for um, some kind of topic that they're researching and create the website as their project um, or they do this with a group um, or they do this to document their learning as an e-portfolio throughout the year it's up to you but they will absolutely find this an easy tool to use to create that um, i would stress excellence and a good product um, just make sure that they know, um, you, you can kind of mentor them along the way and, and just kind of look at it and um, they can share it with you. Um, I did that in my class um, and all the groups shared it with me. So I had access and I could do whatever I needed to as well. If I needed to add a new student to a group or, or whatever, if I needed to go in and, and change something mm -hmm. but you do need to provide that opportunity for a responsibility for the kids and you do need to trust them to an extent um, for them to be able to use that responsibility and develop those skills um, being responsible for something so there's this is what it looks like you choose about us it will take you to the about us page didn't have much on that page and notice you can see the kind of the boxes that I was going to do classroom resources I did not have anything on that page <coughs> either excuse me um, but I definitely did the WPISD home I had that link it takes you to WPISD and um, remember it brought it up in a new window which I liked so that is the preview 
right there. Um, so that hopefully kind of gives you a, a good sense. Oh, I kind of like this too. So remember we're in the preview right here. So this is what it looks like on a computer, but on a tablet, it'll look like this. And on a cell phone, it will look like this. So you can kind of see what it looks like in all three modes. <clears throat> all right, now we're back into the editing mode. So I think I've pretty much shown you everything you need to know to be dangerous with Google Sites. The last thing is, um, let me see what's under more. You can duplicate the site. Add a favicon. A favicon is the little icon that is up in the address bar right next to um, the address. So normally, like right now, I see a little lock. You can add a favicon, and that's just an image. So you can um, upload an image. Um, sometimes I'll do a little bit emoji of me or select a, something that's in their gallery or, or whatever. So you can choose and have a favicon. So sometimes when you look across the top, you can see um, this is the, the BB, that's our Blackboard, um, has their little favicon there. And then Google Apps has all their little favicons. So that's what a favicon is. And then, um, and then the last thing to show you is publish. So when you go to publish, you can kind of tweak your uh, web address. <clears throat> so I'm going to call this Whitaker. Um, I want to be as simple as possible. Uh, Whitaker World. And so here's the uh, link to the site. And you can also choose um, who can view your site. I would say open it up to everybody. But if you want the students to keep it within the district, that's up to you as well. So that would be a good good thing to do. Manage, um, so it's like who can see, who can view the site. So that's what you would do there. And so once you have what you um, you like, the, the name of your site, now I will tell you with my students, I had them do Whitaker Group um, a first period did 1-1, one -one. so Whitaker 1-1, one -one, Whitaker 1-2, one Whitaker 1-3, and then second period, Whitaker 2-1, 2-2, 2-3. So I was able to um, kind of keep tabs on all of those different. And then you hit publish, and it's publishing, and it is open to the web. Now I'm not super worried that this little um, project in progress here is going to be on the web. I don't care. Um, people have to have a link to see it. So um, they're not going to be able to see it anyway. So don't be worried that, oh, I hit publish. And, and that's kind of a scary thing. So you don't need to worry about that. You always go back to your publish um, options. Um, and you can view it here. You can unpublish it. That's up to you. But I'd always, all the, ch the changes that you make are saved in real time, much like the other Google Apps. However, publishing to the web is what other people are going to see when they come to your website. So I would just have them, just to be sure, I would just have the students after they've worked on their website, go ahead and hit, somebody hit publish in the group because they were working together um, just to make sure it was good. And, and so there's lots of options with it. It's a very easy way to have a, a presence online. Um, whether it's your teacher website or it's the students working together or documenting their learning along the way in some kind of e-portfolio. If you have any questions, let me know, but I hope this helped to give you a little brief introduction. Probably not so brief. Let me know if you have any questions.